Hello, everyone. If your students are anything like mine, then they love to play Jeopardy. I have here one of the Jeopardy games we like to play. This one is about idioms. And as with all Jeopardy games, the students will choose a category and point value, such as love 300. And it pops up with the prompt. The students tell me what the idiom means. We're able to check our answer and return to the board. Where in PowerPoint, the ones that we've clicked on will change color, which allows both the students and myself to quickly know which questions have been chosen and which have not. They know that they need to choose a blue number, not a purple number. The problem came when we started playing Jeopardy in Google Slides. Because Google Slides, it appears exactly the same from the start, but when we click on a number, such as, again, love 300, and then we go back to the game board, the number stays the exact same color, meaning we cannot know for sure just by looking at the board which numbers have been chosen and which haven't. So today I'd like to show you a little trick that solves this problem and that has made playing Jeopardy via Google Slides much easier for my students and I. And the trick is something that I learned from Casey Bell at Shake Up Learning. She told us about this Google Chrome extension called Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. And it's very easy to click and add to Google Chrome. I've already done it on my computer. And once you've installed it, you come up to your extensions button, which looks like a little puzzle piece. And I can click on Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. Once I click on it, you see the slide sorter goes away, which means the students cannot see any upcoming slides. I can also go over and click on the little up arrow to hide the menus and make it even larger. Now, the students can again choose their question, such as Love 300. I have to do actually two clicks. I have to click on the 300 and then click on the link below it to go to the question. And this is where the difference between the PowerPoint version and the Google slide version comes in, becomes very important because this slide is not in present mode, which means it's displaying everything on the, that slide whether it's been animated or not. And so in the Google Slides version, I have placed my answers on a different slide, which I've hyperlinked to. So if my students need to check the answer, students or I need to check the answer, I can click Answer, click on the, the link that pops below it. It'll show me the answer. And I can go back to my game board at any time. My links still don't turn color, but what I've done is I've put a group of covers over here to the side, and I can just grab one and drag and drop it on top so that my students and I can all remember that one is used. To make these covers, I simply just grabbed a shape, drew a rectangle to be the size that I wanted, changed its color, and then I copied and pasted this rectangle about 20 or 30 times, however many I needed to cover my game board. I selected all of the rectangles on the board. So I selected these, this one, this one, and I used my Arrange, Align Center, Range, Align Middle, and I was able just to drag them to the side. So now I have 
what I refer to as an infinite pile of rectangles that I can use to drag and drop as needed on the board. This allows me then to keep track of the where we are in the slides. When I'm done playing and I'm ready to go back, I can get my menu back by pushing the arrow. I can get my slide sorter back by pushing the escape key and then the refresh button. And that gets me back to where I started with my game. If you have a Jeopardy slide that you've already made in PowerPoint or that you've purchased or gotten from another teacher, you can also use your PowerPoint Jeopardies in Google Slides. You're going to come to your Google Drive and click New, File Upload. Choose the PowerPoint that you want to upload and say Open. Once it has uploaded, you can find it in your list of files. Right click and say Open with Google Slides. It'll take a moment to convert the file. And I always like to save it as a Google Slide so that I only have to do this work once. And to do that, I go File, Save as Google Slides. And again, it takes a moment to do the conversion and to do the work. Now, this Jeopardy is set up so that the answer appears when you click. And that's a problem because when we use our Chrome extension, the answer stays there. I can click on any question and it's going to display both the question and the answer. And I don't want the students to see the answer as soon as they see the question. So what I'm going to do is I am going to very quickly change this over. And all I do is I click on the first question from, the, from round one. I scroll down to the end of round one's questions, hold my shift key, and click the last question. And I copy these slides. Then I go all the way to the end of my presentation, click below the last slide, and I paste the slides. You want to make note of which slide number is the first slide number of your now answer slides. And at this point, you have the choice. You can leave the question or you can delete the question and move the answer to the middle. It's up to you depending on how you like to run your games. I'm going to leave the question because I often like to discuss why the answer is what it is with my students and having the question there for reference is a nice thing. So back at the top, what I want to do now is get rid of this answer. So I'm just going to click on it and delete it. And I am going to insert a shape. It doesn't really matter which shape. I like to use the one that looks like a button. Go ahead, change the color to be whatever you want, and type the word answer. Format it so it looks the way you want it to look. And then you want to take, and I find it easiest to go through and put this on all of the slides first. So I'll copy this, and I'll go to the next slide, delete the answer, and paste the answer button. And I will do that all the way down through 
all of the questions for this round. Once I have all of my answer buttons in place, I need to hyperlink them. So I'm going to click on the answer button, click on my insert link button. It looks like a chain. I'm going to choose slides in this presentation. And I remember that the first copied slide was slide 66. So I want to link this slide to slide 66 and click apply. Now, when I'm playing the game, in full screen mode, when I choose the first question, banana, I can click answer. It tells me it is countable and I can return to the game slide. I hope these tricks will help you to more easily place Jeopardy with Google Slides. And I hope you have a great day with your students and a lot of fun teaching.